But all this is bigger than Diddy. It's bigger than Diddy, bro. Because you know who else they was doing investigation on during that whole time period? It was the mayor and the politicians in New York City. They turn around, give him the city, the key to the city. All the mayor people that he brought on here in New York City are all resigning. It's, they all resigning. People ain't going to tie this together, but if you look at it, you have to say, because of Mayor Adams, and his relationship with Diddy, it brought on the Southern District of New York to start investigating Diddy on civil lawsuits that was put against him. Because the feds is going after all these politicians in New York City. Shout out to Gene Deal, man. He's been out here spreading the truth for a good minute about Diddy. And everybody was labeling him crazy up until, boom, this happens. Uh, shout out to, you know, Life Life and because uh, it's, it's been up all 2024, according to Cat Williams. You know what I mean? It's, it's their side and God's side. And right now, their side is showing they, whoo. You know what I mean? We all gonna have, we gonna stick on that guy's side though. Uh, 50 Cent says Diddy did it, uh, did it. It makes it clear he didn't participate or hasn't been to any of Diddy's freak off parties. Also, 50 expresses that a lot of the celebrity culture that's not saying anything is because they went to Diddy's freak off parties and participated. Check out this clip. So you have something huge coming up, which is a documentary about P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, P. Diddy. Yeah, yeah. Did he do it, right? Yeah, yeah. Since I, I know, he did you, it. You've been heavy on social no, media talking about it. it. He did it. And I'm the only one who's been vocal about this long before it actually. Oh, you've been saying it's for, for a long time now. And then no one was, you know, they're just, yeah. why is he saying this? And now it's coming out like crazy. I mean, but I also thousands. didn't participate. I also didn't go to those parties. Yeah. So a lot of the celebrity culture that you don't hear saying anything is because they participated to a degree. What, what so what's was, was there a reason you never went to those parties back in the day? I, obviously, I know what's going on there, but is there a reason you never did? I'm just not with all that freaky shit. Like yeah. all of the stuff that he's doing, I'm not into that type of stuff. I'm just a little more maybe you could say basic or normal. You go to the '90s, and Kiki D said he paid, he paid him to kill Tupac. Yeah, it's a little like you get the craziest accusations. You had TMZ created a docu series. They went to Tubi, but. The, the series is saying the downfall of Diddy. You're one of the first persons in entertainment to really call out people and kind of have that authority in that to be able to call people out. I mean, which is, is pretty amazing. You're kind of, in some ways, draining, draining the swamp of, of Hollywood. And, yeah, I don't have a support doing. system. I don't have a support system of or a peer group of artists that I require to do what I'm doing. I've had to be on my own from the beginning. So I, I don't necessarily... Uh, have a responsibility to behave a certain way, according to them, you know. And I look if you if, if I didn't have an award-winning director doing it, if I hadn't put the right people in place to produce it properly, I would understand why they would question or doubt anything. You know? I see comments like Fifty Cent just doing the Lord's work. 50 and M been saying it for the longest. 50 been talking bold with his clear conscience, like an independent artist of which. Uh, one would, one would thought what the industry, yeah, y'all, this is exactly how they wrote it. I'm, I'm almost going to put it on the screen just so y'all know it ain't me. Uh, 50 been talking bold with his clear conscience, like an independent artist of which one would thought what the industry could use and come fight against him afterwards. Perhaps they wish 50 was never part of this mainstream because somehow dude is the one playing them these days. Yeah, I kind of understood what you were saying. Uh -huh. Uh, but like my favorite line of this whole thing was when 50 was like, I'm just not with the freaky shit <laughs> For real, you're just like, look man, I ain't with that, I ain't with none of that Now, uh, grim news, this right here is not so funny whatsoever It's actually disturbed me this morning when I woke up it says this TikToker, this TikToker covered in detail uh, the P. Diddy allegations and the party shenanigans and stars that were in attendance. Now, I'm not going to play this clip, but it says Jay-Z, Beyonce, Simon Cow, Ryan Seacrest, uh, to name a few were uh, some of the people she was referencing. And um, 
you know, in reference to this. Uh, and she's been found mysteriously unalive. Now, this was back in April um, of this year. And yeah, I think a lot, you know, I've I just got on to this information and it, it just really really disturbed me it says kyle uh marisha roth a tiktoker known for controversial celebrity blind items who started many of her videos with you want more i'll give you more has died she was 36 and uh yeah they announced the news on monday uh that following monday on instagram claiming the content creator yeah passed so this was all after yeah she started exposing yeah the hip-hop industry was nothing more um then some i'll just hold that statement right now i'll just leave it at diddy now this very next story is even more disturbing and i'll just start it off with uh reading the caption man um they actually trying to bring kanye into this i don't know how true the story is i can't verify it other than just being able to hear it myself um this isn't to make any for myself i'm not making any indefinite claims or anything like that i'm just here to listen to the side of the story get the perspective and make my assessment but kanye and diddy and everyone else that was involved in this should go to prison for the rest of their existence according to their status um diddy kept looking at me and Kanye kept looking at Laura and like they were exchanging glances. And I'm like, they're like watching me strangely. And I'm like, okay, let me pretend to drink. And like, I'm not actually doing it. Um, and like that seemed to like make them happy. Like me, like pretending to like join in. And immediately I'm like, there's something fucking in this drink. There's something, there's something in this drink. Um, and I didn't know what to do. Uh, and I like, my manager was like across the room, but like close enough, but like not next to me. So I couldn't like whisper to her, but I wanted to tell her, I'm like, Hey, don't drink this. There's something wrong with this, but I couldn't. So I reach for my phone and I start to type and Kanye takes the phone out of my hands and he's like, who are you texting? Like, you don't need to text anyone. Like we're having a party. And I was like, okay. And he like puts it on one of the speakers and I'm like, now what do I do? Um, like, I, I don't, I don't know what to do. And I see my manager take a sip. And I'm like, like, fuck, 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 fuck. Now what do I do? And then I see her take another sip, two sips out of this little vodka cranberry cup. And I'm like, oh, what, what do I, what do I do? Two sips and I watch her face flush. And all of a sudden, like I look over and she's speaking really loud and like making jokes. And I'm like, whoa, like this isn't her. Like she doesn't make jokes. She's terrified of people. Like she doesn't even talk. And I was like, it's already, it's already hitting her. Like a hundred percent. I just knew that the drinks were all laced with something. Um, and she starts like almost being like belligerent a little bit, but not in like a crazy way, just like really enjoying herself. And I'm like, that's not her. That's not her. She doesn't even want to be here. Like, this is weird. And all of a sudden she like, dismisses the studio hose. She's like, she's like, you can leave, you can leave. And I'm like, oh my God, like what's going on? And the girls file out, they go to like a different, a, a different studio or they go somewhere. And um, I'm like, I have to do something. I, I have to do something. What do I do? And I go and I go to get my phone where Kanye put it on one of the speakers. And as I'm going to get it, I turn and my manager's walking out and I'm like, no, 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 no. Like, where, like, where, where, where are you going? So I see her start to leave. And I'm like, well, like, where, where are you going? And she's like, it's fine. I'm just going to the bathroom. And I was like, no, 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 no stay, 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 stay. And she's like, it's right there. I'm just going to go to the bathroom. And I was like, okay. And she walks out. And all of a sudden I realize that I'm in this studio. The music's low, the lights are dim, but you can still like see everything. And um, I realized that I'm in the studio with Diddy and Kanye and they're both off their and there's three other men, an executive that works with Kanye, his engineer and his cousin and me alone. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I haven't started freaking out yet. Like I know what the situation is. I know, um, like I know this is a bad, place to be in but I don't really feel scared yet you know like because I'm like there's other people around there's other men around and I know them like I've, I've known them for a while like nothing bad's gonna happen and I'm standing there and I realize that my so this is like a pretty like sizable studio there's like 
the glass doors, the couch there, a console, another console, the screen, all of that. But it's like, it's, it's pretty big, but you can still see and talk to everyone easily. And I realized that I'm standing really close to the exit and it's a glass door and it opens in and I'm standing pretty close to it. And I realized all of a sudden that they, Kanye and Diddy had realized that I'm the only girl in the room. <clears throat> and they're like, their minds and they start coming towards me and they're like hmm don't you want to take your clothes off like it's so hot in here and I'm like no fine I'm fine like this and they're like come on like it's just us like we're all just friends like let us just like see like how you look and I'm like okay I'm fine and like I still haven't gotten scared yet you know like I'm still like this is a bad situation I'm creeped out but like there's no reason to panic there's other men here um, yeah, so they're coming towards me and I'm like, okay, this is, I don't know where my manager is. I don't know where anyone is. Um, and they're coming towards me more and they're trying to like take my clothes off. And I'm, I'm, I'm like at that point where I'm like, this, this is not good, but I'm like still trying to like play it off. Just like, stop. You guys are stupid. Like, get out of here. Like, don't touch me. Uh, my, did this just freeze? Okay. So let me just get to the point. So they start trying, like, they're like pawing at me. Like they're both drunk, probably on something else. Um, and I start to get a little bit apprehensive because I'm pretty much like backed up against the wall. Like there's, there's only one exit and I'm pressed up against this door and I'm still not completely terrified yet, but, uh, I'm like, you guys stop, like, stop, stop. And they're getting to the point where they have like ripped my shirt off and, um, like, I'm like almost fully exposed at this point and they're both coming at me and I'm like, you guys, like seriously, this is, this isn't funny anymore. And I look to my left where his ex executive is like, we know him pretty well. Like I, we've been around him a lot. He's literally three feet away from me. Like if I reached and he reached too, like we could touch, like he's that close. And I look and I'm like, Hey, like I give that look where I'm just like, come on, like step in. Like, this isn't cool. Like you're a grown man. Like you're like 50 years old. I know you have a family. Like, you know, this isn't right. Like do something. And this is the part that for as long as I live, I will never forget. It isn't actually the aspect of it. that's not what haunts me. It's, it's this, it's as these two grown men, I look over to this man asking for help and I literally mouth the word help and we lock eyes and he looks away. I'm like, okay, there's two more men in the room. And I look to his engineer next, he was sitting right, right next to him. And I know that he's married and he has, he just, had a little baby girl and I'm like, okay, he's going to do something. Um, and I look at him next and I'm like, okay, like do something, say something, do, do anything. And he, he looks down at his phone and starts texting. And then I was like, oh, um, I look at Kanye's cousin next and I'm like, do something, you know, like, now, obviously, I wasn't there to be able to say this is true. This is not true. Uh, but I will say it was hard to watch. Yeah, it, it was hard to watch for sure. And, you know, something like this happening to somebody, man, this earth, this world, man, humans, right? Um, it says Nikki claimed Kanye and Diddy were now trying to get her pants off. And she said she closed eyes briefly and prayed to God for help. And then she alleged the voice came and to her head and asked her to go towards the rappers which she did she threw them off balance allowing her to reach behind uh, her back and pull the exit uh yeah pull the exit door she said she managed to slip out and grab the clothes grab her clothes as she did it says uh she ran out and hid in an empty studio for about 25 minutes crying and wondering what to do she texted lauren but didn't get any response she claimed that she saw kanye assaulting lauren which is why she named 
uh, why she was named in um, the letters lawsuit. So yeah, all of this is alleged at the moment. I don't know uh, anything to be true, but you know, um, if it is, I'm just happy that she made it out. And uh, yeah, we just gotta wait for these details, y'all. That's all we can do.